Uh, one of the things that we do quite frequently for folks who have shoulder pain or loose shoulders um, who want to be able to use that arm through the full range of motion but maybe have a buffer for the stress on the shoulder is we will frequently tape the shoulder to provide some um, structural buffering and support. So Riley still wants to remain active and he's got shoulder pain and so this tape can act as um, kind of a surrogate for his um, joint structures that need to get stronger at this point. So Riley, I'm just gonna lay this here and run it up to the front of your shoulder. And then I'll put another strip in back. So along with the tape, I would ask Riley to use uh, ice on a regular basis when the shoulder's sore, as well as perform some exercises to strengthen his rotator cuff, which ultimately is what we want to be stronger to help secure that shoulder and make it feel better without needing to utilize the tape. All right, and a second layer of tape goes on just to make this a little bit stronger. Doing all right? Yeah. So being able to get back to full activity is really important for folks as soon as possible. And one of the ways that we sort of uh, measure the value of the taping is, and I'm going to have Riley do this for a couple weeks for all his activity, and then as he's progressing and getting stronger, the thought is he'll be able to move away from needing to use the tape. If he's unable to move away from needing to use the tape, then it might suggest that he needs something else done. So if folks are going to try this on their own at home, you'd want to really think of it uh, almost like you'd think of using crutches. If you needed to use them for more than a very short period of time, you probably ought to talk to um, your physician or your therapist about looking into why you need that support. Okay, so that's the support, and then you go ahead and rest your arm. Let it relax there. So when the arm is off the pillow then, it feels like there's a little bit of a hammock effect, right? A little support front and back. And then Riley, you'll also note that when I pull your arm forward, you feel the support in the back of your shoulder. And when I pull your arm back, you'll feel the support in the front of your shoulder.